I caught a sale on several items actually. The one I'm going to modify is this four piece butt chisel set. I got this from Highland Hardware in Atlanta. The handles on these things are crap. I mean, these are absolutely horrible handles. So, so I think the hardest part is going to be honing these the way I do on my grinder. Since they're so short, probably going to have a really hard time honing these properly. I may just live with the bevel they already have and and just touch them up on the uh, the MDF wheel. But I'm going to get handles on them first and then worry about the edge. Alright, so I got these handles ripped off. Worst case scenario, I'm out 10 bucks and an afternoon. I'm doing this while I'm waiting for glue to dry, so I'm really not out time a whole lot. Other than the trouble of doing it, but I can't really call it trouble when I enjoy turning. I'm not going to throw them away. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I broke that board down into. I just cut it the same width as it was thick. So I have almost 16 inch long blanks here. These two came out. This one's a little narrow. One of these will become all four chisel handles. I'm gonna measure for the length of my tenon. I will cut my tenon. I don't typically do this on the lathe, but I'm being lazy. Alright, so I got my blanks all made up. These guys are ready to turn. This one's got to be trimmed. Alright guys, so here's one of the handles that I'm going to turn for these butt chisels. I'm not going to video all of them. I got four to do. This will be the first one. I just want to get kind of a ball shape back here coming down a little narrow on this end towards the ferrule where the chisel is going to go in so that it's comfortable for me to hold and put pressure on. The diameter back here is going to be a little bit smaller than this. I'm going to try it out close to this diameter just to see how it feels in my hand and I may change it and then I'll try to get the other three as close to whatever I come up with on this one. So I'm going to get the, uh, the drill and the vise set up to drill this out for one of the chisels and I'll start the camera back up. My drill press is kind of crappy so I always do this by hand, I just do it very carefully.
still haven't used this thing yet. I've been scared to hurt it. I think today's the day. So let's see if we can get this in without splitting anything. teeny tiny crack in it. All right, so I'm gonna do the other three. And then uh, if you wanna see the sharpening process, my very first video was my sharpening station. That's all I'm gonna do to it. So if you wanna see that, you can watch uh, my episode one. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make the other ones and um, you've seen one, you've seen the other three. All right, guys, so here are my super, super, super cheap butt chisels with new handles. These are maple handles with copper pipe ferrules. I put the little micro bevel thing on it right here at the tip. Let me see if I can get close enough. Yeah, right there. There's the reflection. And really, from here, all I need to do is see how this metal holds up. I don't think you need a $50 butt chisel the way... I'm going to be using butt chisels so and let me see if I got some left where I can show you these things do actually get pretty sharp so there you go so thanks for watching um, I'd like to say uh, thanks to Larry for the mention at tiny trailer workshop I really appreciate you watching what I do. Uh, I got a lot of respect for you. I recently broke a hundred subscribers and I wanna say thanks to each and every one of you. I tried to sit down and thank everybody individually, but I don't have a tremendous amount of free time to spend on that stuff between trying to film videos and going to work and doing stuff to uh, stay married. <laughs> I, it's it's amazing the uh the welcome that i'm getting from the youtube woodworking community and i want to say thanks to everybody who has been kind and commented on my videos and basically let me know that they're willing to see through the mistakes i'm making making videos to the content that i'm trying to provide so thanks again for watching if you'd like to find me on facebook i am on facebook under gp woodworks if you like what i've pulled off here give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed please do thanks for watching